Are you thinking about scheduling your first therapy appointment, but scared because you don't know what to expect? Well, if so, you've come to the right place because today I'm here to talk about what you can expect when scheduling and going to your first therapy appointment. I'm Jordan Travers. I'm a licensed clinical psychotherapist and the clinical director of Awake Therapy. If you're interested in booking a session with either me or a member of my team, you can do so by clicking on the link below. Some of us have tried therapy and have stopped, while others of us have never tried therapy at all. And that's okay, because therapy is always there when you need it. Just because you've stopped therapy in the past doesn't mean that you can't restart. And if you've never gone to therapy before, I can assure you it's not too late. So today I'm gonna to share four things you can expect when scheduling and going to your first therapy appointment. Expectation number one, making contact. Maybe you've already spent some time looking for therapists in your area, or you've contacted your insurance company to see which providers are in network. And if you've done that, that's great because once you've identified a therapist that you're potentially interested in working with, the next step is to reach out to them by calling them. But here's the thing, they probably won't answer. We're either meeting with clients, finishing notes, or maybe at a meeting. But if you leave a message with your name and contact information, we'll get back to you. And if you don't feel like making a phone call, you can always send an email. You can Google find a therapist near me and resources like Psychology Today pop up where you can select and filter therapists based on your zip code, insurance, and their cost of sessions. Plus, on resources like Psychology Today, most providers provide both a telephone number and an email address, so you can use one or the other. Either way, if you wanna to speak to someone, you're gonna to have to schedule a time to do so. Expectation number two, your first appointment. So the time has come for your first appointment. Typically, therapists will ask clients to come 15 minutes early to fill out some paperwork, just like you would do when going to a new healthcare provider or doctor. We're gonna ask pretty standard questions, things like any health concerns we need to be aware of, medications, an emergency contact number. And if you're engaging in online therapy, which is the new norm nowadays, most practitioners will send you the paperwork before your first session. Expectation number three, the session. After you've finished your paperwork, the therapist will come out and take you to their office. Typically the first session is based on a lot of questions, but that depends on how much you're willing to share. We're gonna ask things like, so what brought you here today? and how have you been managing with your problem or situation thus far. Every therapist has their own style, but it's important to note that the questions are meant as a conversational point, not to interrogate you. We're wanting to build rapport and get to know you better so we can make sure we're able to provide you with the therapy you need to succeed. And last, expectation number four, payment and rescheduling. After your first session is done, which is typically a therapeutic hour, you're done. What I mean by therapeutic hour is most sessions are anywhere from 50 to 55 minutes. Some offices or practitioners provide payment prior to the beginning of the session when you book the time slot, but most have you render payment afterwards. For some of you, that might be $0 depending on your insurance and your co-payment. Also, some therapists provide sliding scale services, but you and your therapist would talk about that prior to your initial session. Also, a helpful tidbit, if the therapist you wanna see is out of network, you can always call your insurance and ask if they accept reimbursement bills. And then you can speak to your therapist about a super bill so you can provide that to your insurance company for direct reimbursement on your part. And after that's done, you'll be encouraged to schedule another appointment. Why? Because Rome wasn't built in a day. Learning tips and skills and tricks to manage what brought you in to see a therapist is gonna take a little time. My clinical recommendation is to give therapy a fair shot. What I mean by that is try it for four to six weeks before stopping or switching to a new provider. I'm curious, what has your experience with therapy been? Let me know in the comments section below. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. And if you enjoy my content, please don't forget to subscribe down below. I'll see you guys later this week. Bye.